morning, everyone, and happy Sabbath. I hope your day is blessed and you are also staying warm because, brr, it's a little cold outside. Today, I am so excited because I want to talk about flowers. I love, love, love flowers. I love it when people bring me small bouquets of flowers or a small plant. I love it when I have plants and flowers growing in my garden, it just makes me so very happy. And I found a packet of seeds, and they're hollyhock seeds, and they're so, so pretty. I love hollyhocks. And when I was growing up, my dad had a bunch of hollyhocks in his garden, and those were my favorite flowers of all time. And I actually planted some hollyhock seeds last year but unfortunately, I don't think I planted them deep enough because a bunch of birds came and ate the majority of the seeds that I planted. I was so sad. And then I actually had, I think, maybe two hollyhock plants that came up, but they didn't get very tall because I noticed that they had little nibble marks on them. And some animal came into my gated fence and yard and they ate my hollyhock plant. So I guess I'll just have to try again this spring and hopefully I can make my hollyhock seeds grow. You know, speaking of growing, I have a question for you. How is your spiritual life? Are you growing in Christ every day? Or are you just too busy? You know, you, you have school to get ready for, and after school you might have soccer practice, or you might have piano lessons, and then when you get home you might have chores and homework, and you're just too busy. Well, I've made that excuse in the past too. I'm just too busy. I don't have time for that. Well, that's no excuse, because each and every day we are to grow in Christ. Whether we pray, read our Bible, have a devotional with our family, or study the Bible and share it with other people. These are all things that we can do to grow in Christ. And I want to encourage you to do so because growing in Christ is a beautiful thing because people will start to notice. I've had people come up to me and say, you know, there's something different about you and I like it. And to be honest, I'm not always the nicest person. I can be kind of eh, mean or grumpy. That's not really what they notice, they notice the God that lives right here in my heart because it, it just comes out in my personality and they can see it because I am trying my best to grow in Christ. I don't always read my Bible every day. I don't always have a devotional every day, but I'm trying and that is what counts the most is that you try. If you haven't tried today, maybe try tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day that you can glorify God and what you do and how you uh, study your Bible and how you pray and how you um, glorify Him. And there's a verse that comes from 2 Peter 3 verse 18 and it talks about growth. And it says, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forevermore. Amen. We are to grow every day in Christ because as we do, we'll start out as seeds. But then we'll become beautiful hollyhocks if we continue to grow each and every day. So I pray that you take time, even if it's after all your busy schedule, 
to take time with your family to have a devotional or pray and study the Word of God because it will be such a beautiful thing for your life. I hope and pray that you have a marvelous rest of your Sabbath and keep these words in mind that God loves you and he wants you to grow. Amen. <laughs>